Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Stardew Valley. Today I am doing I'm I'm, I'm thinking I was thinking about doing three videos today, but I might put one off to tomorrow. But there's at least two videos going to go up today. Uh, I am definitely moving uh, Magic the Gathering to the weekends, uh, but those probably will be recorded sometime during the week. So uh, though it'll be week weekday recordings and then I'll just post them on the weekend for you guys and then you guys will actually get videos every week every day so that might be good I'm gonna try that out for a while I do want to get the Stardew Valley videos out and I don't want it to be constantly just me doing uh, uh, clearing out the farm because I like to do that first I like to get everything cleared out of the farm get the thing done all I got is those big things that I gotta worry about and then I get into some good stuff. And it's it's good to do that in the first three or four days because you can't do really anything except for fishing. So, anyway, we're going to skip this. Uh, I am doing this. This is going to be a farm layout. I'm going to show you guys how I do the, uh, the layout for my farm. I am going to probably just spawn in the... Um, Uh, scarecrows that I need for this because you're not going to have enough to do the amount of scarecrows that I do. Uh, the farm layout I'm going to show you is the ending layout that I actually use uh, on my farm. Not You're not going to be able to do this like at the first time. I think, I think if you clear out your whole entire farm you get enough for about 13 to 15 scarecrows when you unlock it. So but I want to I show this one first because I'm going to be using this in my regular Let's Play. And I'm going to use this in my spring, uh, little uh, first spring video that I'm doing for you guys. So um, this is just just a, a crap starting farm so I can show you guys what I, what I, the, the farm layout that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. It's going to save the game and then open up the window here. Now, I will note here before I run in here real quick and do this. There we go. Um, turn down my sounds. There we go. And then we do our zoom. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I'm playing by myself is, um, well, well, right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these out. So we're going to trash all these here. And uh, just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and get the iridium ones. It doesn't matter which one you start out with. It will, the tractor will harvest up faster if you got upgraded tools, but it's not needed. Okay. And uh, this right here doesn't matter for right now, so we're just going to come outside. And uh, for the purposes of this video and my spring video, I have turned on the feature where you can just summon the tractor by pressing backspace without having the building, all right? So we're going to go ahead and, and summon that, and I'm going to clear off the farm here, first thing. So, and I've, I've just, I've found, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you my layout, but I need to clear out the farm out first. And also for the purpose of this layout, it's better if you're using the tractor mod, all right? So this is a specific layout specifically for using the tractor mod. It's also, you can also do it if you're, if you're just using the watering can and not using sprinklers. That's up to you. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump in here. And I'm going to go, nope, stop that. Okay. I had the wrong buttons pressed. And uh, what, we're gonna, what we do here is just riding around. The tractor will harvest everything. Now, by default, it will not harvest trees, so you do have to switch that setting up. Also, by default, it would not summon by backspace, so you do have to change that setting also. But. And it, it shouldn't take too long. I usually get mine done by at least one or two o'clock. 
Now the harvest range is customizable and the cutting range is customizable. I think it usually starts at one or one. Uh, you just have to uh, open a test world when you first uh, get the mod if you haven't used it before and um, get the tractor and then um, test it yourself for the range and see if you need to you need to adjust it for your own personal taste uh, this is this is what I like so uh, the one complaint I have about the tractor mod is there's no fuel I would like the tractor to have fuel basically you, you have infinite resources when you're on the tractor so I don't like that I don't know if there's a way to change that in the settings um, to where it actually uses your energy at least that would be more realistic okay so when I get to this point and I start leaving stuff on the ground I come back over here and We'll put a chest down. Stop it! And then I just put everything in here. And I go ahead and put in the scythe. Not the scythe. The uh, hoe and the watering can. And take the scythe back out. That's the only things we really need. Go ahead and summon that back again. Get back on our axe. And now we can continue to gather. Uh, what happens is your your uh, foraging levels up. Once your foraging levels up, you go ahead and gain the benefits of that level up, even though you haven't gone to sleep. So, what happens is the trees start spawning seeds and stuff. And when they do that, plus everything else you already have in your inventory, um, so you don't have enough spaces for everything. So now you can just pop out your. Uh, Pick also, if you want, to clear these rocks out, but I'm gonna, I like to do all the trees first, unless I get stuck somewhere. Yeah, so... Now, for the purpose of this video, I did want the iridium specifically, so I could cut down all these things. You don't really need the iridium level thing, but it does cut the fastest. This will take longer if you're using the regular tools when you first get the tractor mod. Although, if you've, if you've left it but the default settings to uh, getting the tractor, you should have upgraded tools already. Uh, that being that the... Uh, Tractor takes a battery pack in, I think, five iridium bars, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and do the uh, stone and stuff now. Now you do want the bushes, the weeds, so try to use uh, the ha the axe or the <coughs> excuse me the scythe to get the weeds up. That's up to you though to make scarecrows. We're just going to summon them in because I have the uh, spawning mod on this downloaded, so. And when you get done with this, you should have uh, four or five levels in foraging and also um, two, one or two levels in mining. Depends on how much um, coal spawns as you're mining up all the uh, stone and stuff. I think that's it. And now we're going to switch to the scythe. Now, 
If you're doing animals, you might want to leave some of this grass on the field. I am doing my field layout, so I don't really care about this kind of uh, stuff. So we're going to get rid of all of the grass for right now. There's a rogue rock there. Get and you want to you want to do this based on the the uh, the width of the range of your tractor, right? And the best way to tell the width of your tractor is I'll show you in a second because I don't have it with me. There we go. All right. So we're going to get off our thing, we're going to come over here, we're going to go ahead and empty out our inventory again. And uh, you want to make, uh, you, you won't have it right now, so, so, but you want Scarecrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the spawning thing. There we go. I'm just going to get a stack of them out. And uh, that's basically all you need, plus the tractor. And uh, how you deal, oh no, no, that's not right. When you're on your tractor, you need to be careful which tool you have. All right. So let's get our tractor back out. And uh, what you want to do is you want to switch to your hoe, and that'll show you the range on your tractor. All right. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just switch to your pickaxe. Okay. So is that right? That's that's about right. So so what I want to do is I make a strip. All right. All the way across. There we go. Now I usually go down. Oh shoot! Hold on. There we go. Put it on the side. I usually go down one here and leave a little space, like right here. But this is fine. This is fine right here. And then now what we want to do is we want to get off the tractor. And I want to start over here. And I place a, a, a scarecrow here. Now you don't have to. There's a range on this side. But I always put one right here. And then we want to go over uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I place another scarecrow. One, two, three, four, five, six seven scarecrow one two three four five six seven scarecrow one, two three four five six seven scarecrow one two three four five six seven nope scarecrow one two three four five six seven Scarecrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Scarecrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks a little too far apart. Put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should cover all of your crops. Um, there might be a little overlap, but we don't we don't care about that. Uh, and this one looks like it's a little bit too far out of the way, but um, yeah, some of these look like they're one space longer. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, tractor out again, and you want to line this up, all right, to where it's right there. You see that? And then we're gonna come all the way across again. And then we want to make another row down. All right. The same length as this one. There we go. We we'll switch to our uh, sickle. Oh man! Stop it. There we go. Get off of that. And we're going to do this scarecrows again. So we're going to start right here. And do one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh shoot! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm I'm gonna need to do another one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven for right here. In case I decide to come over here and plant a little more over here, and then what I can do now is do another run on the tractor. And we need to come down one. And do another run across. And that's what I use the plant with. I just use this area. I put anything down here that I'm going to be using, processing um, uh, animals kind of stuff down here, and that leaves me space up here to do anything I want with. Now, um, you can use this layout of this farm no matter which one you're doing you might have shorter rows across but the layout still works no matter what which map you're using you just have shorter rows uh, the only exception would probably be the mountain the mountain one you might want to run your rows up and down instead of across because there's a river that runs through it also um, it's not very conducive with the fishing map either I don't believe the fishing map doesn't have a lot of area to farm on. You probably just want to make one island your farming area and then just just farm on each individual island. I haven't played on that one uh, in, a, in a while. But that's my farming layout. What are we doing on time? Perfect. Um, I'll go ahead and get this. Yeah. Uh, that's how I do my farming layout. For when I'm using the tractor, specifically when I'm using the tractor, um, I I really don't like using the. I like watering my crops. Um, I use the uh, uh, sprinklers, but like for me, by the time you get the sprinklers unlocked, you basically could have your water can up to like gold level, and it's 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 nothing to do the watering by yourself. And then, but it's like if you're going to get the if you're going to sprinklers basically don't need the upgraded watering can so I don't know it's up to you um, but if you're using the tractor when you use the watering can it doesn't use any water anyway so so and it doesn't matter what level the watering can is which is another quim I have it should it should water less area on the tractor depending on what your watering can is I also think that depending on what level your tools are should determine the range of the tractor but I don't think there's a way to do that in the mod currently as it exists but anyway just wanted to let you guys know that because I will be using that in my spring layout my spring little thing that I'm doing and uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty much it anyway guys if you like this episode make sure you smack that like button if you subscribe to my channel Make sure you uh, hit the notification button, the notification bell. Set your notification settings in there so you can get notifications whenever I have videos out. You guys can come check it out see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them just like the share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for my channel using the notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next episode.